Good evening, everybody. It's um, Monday, um, October the 3rd. Um, um, people don't normally get to see me when I'm like this. I'm somewhere between um, not being quite sick and being totally sick. There's that long gray period, and I'll talk about that as I go along with my stories. But I have been friends for quite some time now with a, another young man who's a refugee from Sri Lanka, and he does hour-long podcasts. I'm not quite that brave yet. Um, and I know, sorry, I know lots of times he's, very busy and he doesn't have all the energy in the world and so a lot of times when he's doing his podcasts in his fish room um, he's not looking the best his hair isn't combed and he isn't shaved and he's got lumpy old clothes on and and he's an actor by profession and so I thought well if Malik can do it so can I so you're seeing me at something not my best but that's okay so um i took a few moments and watched my fourth uh, video this is the fifth one and so that i wasn't repeating myself so i'm going to carry on i'm going to carry on talking about my life as a little kid my my three-year-old memories are a little fuzzy I think my earliest memory and I'll share it with you um, is um, my my mom and dad my dad was a character he always liked different types of vehicles and he had it was called a Franklin and the Franklin was an air-cooled vehicle it was somewhere in the 20s 1920s and um, um, it was very good at going through the snow. So mom and dad were quite determined to go and see grandma and grandpa Hart at their place um, uh, near Hannah, Alberta. And, um, but they were plowing snow. And um, uh, I remember I remember uh, mom always drove, dad, dad was an excellent motorcycle operator, but he was a lousy car driver. Anyway, they were out, and you have to understand on the bald-headed prairies, and I'm sure it's pretty much the same today, um, there were no lights, and there were no street signs or highway signs, and nobody was plowing the roads, which were kind of cow trails anyway. And I, I was in a basket in the back, and I was kind of, kind of going in and out of being asleep. And I remember hearing mom and dad talking about wondering where the turnoff on the number nine highway was, number nine road, um, because they were worried about missing it, and they needed to be on that to get to the farm. So um, I remember. Um, being able to see the light from the dash and probably the glow of the headlights and um, <clears throat> and and the I could see the roof of the car that on the interior because of those dim lights and and I have that memory and then um, when they finally got to the farm it was in the middle of the night and they'd been plowing snow, pushing snow to get there. And they'd actually torn the front bumper off the, off the Franklin plowing snow. And um, um, they were sitting in the kitchen. I, I heard this. I'm telling this story. I don't remember it. But they had bought Grandma a, a canary for her Christmas present. And um, when they got out of the vehicle and they unloaded me and uh, got in the house and got themselves organized, 
um, Mom handed Granny this little box, and Granny threw it in one of the kitchen cupboards and, and, and forgot about it. And so they were sitting around having a coffee and a bite to eat before they went to bed. And Mom said, oh, by the way, what did you do with that box I gave you? And Granny said, well, I threw it in the cupboard to keep it safe. Mom said, well, go get it and open it up. And here was this little canary. So all my life, until we moved out to the farm, Granny always had a yellow canary, and it was always called Dickie. <laughs> I'm going to cough. <coughs> <coughs> I remember... There was always a canary, a yellow canary at the farm. Anyway, the next morning, um, Mom said, I'm going to go get um, Tony. Tony was one of the saddle horses. And um, I'm going to um, I'm gonna saddle him up and take a rope with me, and I'm going to go find the bumper. And um, Mom and Grandma said, well, he, he won't let you drag that home. Mom said, sure he will. He'll do that for me. And by golly, she found the, <laughs> found the bumper. I, you guys probably don't know what a bumper on a 1920-something vehicle looks like. Nothing like today's vehicles, that's for sure. Anyway, she found it. She got a rope around it and drug the thing home. And I'm sure Dad bolted back on before they came home. Anyway, um... So I'm going to keep talking about all the farm experiences, but I'm going to shift to Grandpa Hart. Grandpa Hart's family were based in, I think, Maine. Maine or Massachusetts, but I'm pretty sure Maine. I'm babysitting a little doggy.